In this my 16th Pearl of Wisdom, during this COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic environment, where we are urged constantly to prepare for the new normal, many of us can do with some serious exposure to the development of self-confidence and self-esteem. Too many of us are easily moved to be confident to do negative things as against the desirable things that would actually send positive vibes into the universe and contribute to our greater happiness. Being confident means being comfortable with how you look and how you feel. And it means feeling good about yourself, your abilities and your thoughts. Sometimes your confidence can go up and down depending on the situation you're in. You might be really outgoing at home or even around your close friends, but quite the opposite when you are not in their company. This is completely normal. With your friends, genuine that is, you're surrounded by the energy you're used to, and therefore that represents your comfort zone, whereas outside of that, you are surrounded by lots of different people, and it can be difficult to speak up and be yourself. Building up your confidence can take time. It involves unlearning all that contributed to your lack of confidence in the first place while positioning yourself for desirable traits that will see you become a totally new bouncy person. This all starts by taking small steps which often lead to a big change. And you don't have to do it on your own. Just surround yourself with the right energy so you can be pulled along. Building your confidence can take time. But there are lots of things that you can try to help you feel more confident in any and all situations. Make a conscious effort to act as if you already have confidence. This can start with you making sure that you look good. Make a conscious effort to look at yourself differently. Watch your words. And in order to do this, avoid outside negative energy. Try something new that will produce excitement and add to your glow. Listen to music of varying types while obeying your mood. Think closely about what you eat with a view to digesting a better diet so you could feel better. Be kind and generous and revel in the good feeling about yourself for being able to bless someone. Change the way you think about things and you will see the things you think about change. Brendan Burchard, a leading personal development coach and internet sensation, advises on five things that we can do to have more confidence in our lives. Decide you need no reason whatsoever to have more confidence. Just make the decision to be more confident. We don't need a reason. We don't need people to be complimentary to us. We've just got to say, you know what, today, I am going to lift my head up a bit. I am going to square my shoulders and strut my wares. I'm going to give myself a bit of credit and I will be confident. I'm going to walk into that room and state my intention by way of action, having committed myself to be confident. And that is the power of intention. The power of that self-directed human being, being happy right now for no reason. Sense the moment and feel grateful for life. Many of us feel we have to wake up in the morning and have 50 reasons to be confident. No, we have to wake up and say, you know what? I'll be confident today. Have you ever had a day, the end of which you crushed it, having got some serious stuff done? You woke up with the intention to be a productive human being that day and the result was amazing. In the vacuum of intention arises impulse and often from that impulse through a brain stem come worry, concern, fear, paying attention to what people say and think. So you see, if you get up and you decide to be a confident person today and every day, no negative impulse can find space to overtake your day. Real confidence is having the ability to express who you really are and to pursue things that are truly desirable. No one has to give you permission to be who you are. When you truly want to feel that sense of strength, energy, and joy in expressing who you really are, everything else comes from there. We develop a sense of confidence from a sense of integrity for ourselves. As we should already know, integrity is, I know who I am and I'm being that constantly. I know what I want and I'm chasing that constantly. Integrity speaks to being aligned with who you are your values, your beliefs, and your dreams. Integrity speaks to ourself being able to stand on its own and be itself and do what it desires. 
that gives us a sense of confidence. And if you do that constantly over a period of time, the soul senses a coherence in identity that is consistent with us being the best of who we are. Competency. Competency comes from the repetition of something with confidence that enables one to be able to do same with his or her eyes closed. Psychologists call that the competence confidence scoop. For as you learn to ride a bike and do it more and more and more, you become more skilled at it and develop more confidence in your ability to ride that bike. Any area you're going to get into for the first time in your life, be okay with it. Therefore, be okay with being uncertain, uncomfortable, not going to know how it's going to turn out. Les Brown said, feel the fear and do it anyhow. As you stumble into it, you will develop skills to master it. One day you will wake up and realize that you are comfortable doing it. Nothing other than your competency changed. Knowledge, skill, ability and talent. That's what competency is. And to have that requires momentum. Momentum is key to confidence. I'm sure you will agree with me that when we stop feeling momentum in our lives, we often feel lost, confused and down because we have lost that connection with our strength. This pandemic has caused a lot of loss in momentum for just about every one of us. It therefore means we have to take more action to develop more confidence. We have to ask what it is we truly want and start moving towards that on a consistent basis before we know the whole plan. A lot of people think that our decision is our destiny. But I'm not too sure about that because some of us decide to lose weight, to do something good, but then we don't. It's disciplined action that is our destiny. And often some of the best decisions in our life come after we have momentum in doing something and then we gain a broader perspective. But a lot of us are waiting for the perfect plan, the perfect time, the perfect person, the perfect thing to pursue our goals and our dreams. And it is that waiting that often dampens our confidence. Instead, we have to have the right conversation with ourselves to say, what can I do now to begin this? Sometimes the whole stairway is not illumined until you take the first step, as we learned from Martin Luther King. So from the first step, you start to make better and better decisions because you're able to see more. And because you start to jog towards something, you start to know where you are going. It's hard to have vision if you've never seen anything. It's hard to expand your view if you are cocooned with people of like minds who are limited in their outlook as you. With more vision and momentum towards the thing that you desire, you gain more confidence. Community is another thing that we must really try to develop and become a part of. We all need people around us who are supportive, positive and buoyant, who will appreciate our sense of aliveness and joy and happiness in life. And if we don't have that, you can't just sit there and be a victim. Get up and go find a new peer group. And while you're at it, choose wisely because the gene pool is not as positive as we would like it to be. Make sure you get around people who are positive and amazing. Some people may tell you, just get rid of all the negative people in your life. What if they are your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your boyfriend or girlfriend, or even your spouse? It's not about cutting them off altogether as much as it is about shaving them off by not associating with them as much anymore to continue to be trapped in their pools of pessimism. Instead, create your own pair group that would be in sync with your vision for developing confidence. I have found that there are many people who are looking for what we are looking for and therefore we need to find them and align ourselves with them. As we cheer each other on, we would all be gaining confidence. When you are complimented, you must own the compliment and begin to feel that sense of success that you deserve. This will fuel a new life for you. And what do you notice? your ability to develop more integrity because you are becoming more of your authentic self, more momentum, more competency and more good people. And so that thing that you were hoping one day you would get, you would instead wake up and realize that you've created it. Confidence, that feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities to your unlimited possibilities.